This training comes to life with a wealth of instructional methods that engage the senses and stimulate learning. The training interface is intuitive and packed with options. This brief tour demonstrates the training features to help you get the most out of your training experience. The main training window contains a movie window with navigation and control buttons. Video training, slides, and exercises will appear in the movie window. The topic bar and subtopic buttons tell a user where they're at in the training sequence and make it easy to navigate between topics. Notice the text changes color depending on whether a particular subtopic has already been viewed, is currently being viewed, or is yet to be viewed. To navigate through this training, there are three methods available. You may use the VCR control buttons, the topics, or the index button. The VCR style control buttons allow the user to control the play of the training movies. To rapidly skip ahead in the training, click on the play button. You may move back in the training by clicking on the back VCR control button. And you can pause the training. To quickly navigate to a specific area, use the next or previous button on the topic bar. To move within a topic, click on the subtopic button. The index button is another way to navigate the training. Click on the index button to view a complete list of everything covered in the training session. The index allows you to get right to what you need to know at any time. Check marks show where the user has been. To close the index pop-up, simply click on the button again. The labs button provides access to training exercises that simulate the software and ask you to demonstrate your knowledge of the course content. To open or close the lab, click on the button. To select a lab exercise, click on the topic. In the lab section, you'll find additional tools including the steps button, which gives you written instructions for accomplishing the task, the hints button, which gives you a clue to help answer the question, and the reference button, which indicates the specific training section that covers this topic. You can move forward or backward in the lab simulations by clicking on the next or previous button. You can access the labs at any time during this training session. Click on the test button to access the pretest and post-test. The pretest helps you determine what you need to study, so you're not wasting time. The post-test lets you see how much you've improved. In the test area, you'll also find tools including the steps button and the reference button. In some cases, you will have an exhibit button which will allow you to view an image related to the test question. The Report button gives access to a report of your progress, noting questions completed and your current score. At the end of a test session, you will be moved into an item review screen. From here, you may access an adaptive study guide by clicking the Finish button. To exit from the test or report area at any time, click on the Main button to return to the training. The Glossary button provides access to a complete list of definitions pertaining to the training. To close the glossary, click on the button again. The Home button moves out of this training session back to the main menu to select another course or session. Choose the Interact button for access to various resources, including course outlines, links to web pages, and supplementary course information. When you select a resource, the training window will minimize while you use that resource. Maximize the training window from the lower taskbar to return to the training. The Interact resource window may be left open while you're training. To do this, drag the Interact window to the side of the Movie window. To close the window, click on the Interact button again. On the top of the training window, you can access the help features by clicking the question mark button for a menu with the help desk and other useful information. The Minimize button stops the training and puts it away in the Windows taskbar until the user enables the training again by maximizing it. The X button exits the training and closes the program. Now that we've covered the basic features and benefits of the training interface, you are ready to begin your interactive training experience.